Okay, I've been tech for you, the tech genius here. This is attempt 7 at recording this video. Hopefully it works this time and we don't have to attempt it again. Fingers crossed. So let's look at series and parallel circuits and the mathematics behind them when it comes to Ohm's law. There are two basic types of circuit. Series circuits and parallel circuits. Both have different properties when it comes to the mathematics behind it and Ohm's law. However, both series and parallel circuits will have two or more values for resistance. A resistance can be anything. It could be a resistor, or it could be the load on the circuit, such as a light bulb, a microwave, a TV, or whatever else you are running. In a series circuit, the current, the, the current will stay the same and the voltage will drop. So this is the typical layout of a series circuit. You have voltage, current, and your two or more values of resistance. For this example, we have two values of resistance. So the voltage will go out from the source, go through the one resistance, through the other resistance, and return to the source. When it goes through the first resistance, the voltage will drop. So the voltage will be lower here, if you can see my mouse, than it will be here. And again, the voltage will be lower here than it is here. The current will be the same at all points throughout this circuit. Let's take a look at series circuits. Uh, now we are moving on to parallel circuits. A typical parallel circuit would look something like this. So you've got your two resistance values, or more. You also have your voltage and your current. Voltage will go out from the source, through the first resistance, and back to source. And out from the source, through the other resistance, and out, out back to source. Okay? Doesn't matter which way it goes to first, and I have, and I know I have no numbered resistance, one at the top, two at the bottom. That is purely for reference when it comes to the mathematics side of it, so that you can, instead of having to say the top resistor, the resistor at the top of the circuit, the resistor at the bottom, you can just refer to it simply as resistance one, resistance two. The voltage does not change. So at all points through the circuit, the voltage will stay the same. However, the current will drop. So the current, when it goes through the resistance value, will be less after the resistance after it has gone through the resistance, and it will be the same with the other resistance. However, the values of current after it has gone through the resistance will not be the same for both resistance. Because if you've got a 5 ohm resistor and a 6 ohm resistor, you're going to have a different current output because of the amount of resistance in each resistor. We'll explain that when we look at the mathematical side of it in the next part of this video. Moving on. This is a summary of the circuit. Both circuits have different properties, which means that in a series circuit, voltage drops, current stays the same. In a parallel circuit, voltage stays the same, current is shared. Thank you for taking your time to view this video. Please click the link in the description and we'll move on to part two of this video where we look at some of the mathematics. Also, I'm using a new microphone here. Please tell me what the quality of this microphone is like.